Kepler had been the most productive spacecraft in detecting exoplanets. The star and the planet are pulling on each other due to gravity. The planet's going to move a lot, but the star itself is only going to move just a tiny bit, and that's why we call it a wobble. You can look at stars on the sky with exquisite spatial resolution. If you stare long enough, and if there is a planet orbiting that star, you can actually see that small perturbation in the position of the star on the sky. Now this is where you take a powerful telescope, you point it in the sky, and you actually see a tiny blur of light that's indicative of a planet. The problem is, these planets are literally lost in the glare of their parent star. So you take a massive object and you put light behind it, that massive object will bend light towards you. If you have a star and you have a planet going in front of it, this is a dark object passing in front of a bright object. These planets are literally casting a shadow out into the galaxy, and we will infer the existence of that planet by measuring a momentary dimming of light that repeats once every orbit. 